Ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's cow moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get Sharon for me, would you? the Nintendo Switch! Ah, we got that upgrade though! What's a Wii U though? I don't even know though! We ain't playing with nothing else! We got Switches on day, son! Why would I want to go on a Lola when I can just stay in the house all day and play Super Mario Odyssey? Like, come on, you, you gotta give me a reason to want to become a Pokemon Master, I'm just saying. Anyway, yo! What's up guys? PK Sparks here, and welcome! Back. Welcome to part one of Ultra Sun and Moon. Welcome back to Alola, I could say. So, it's going to be a fun time. Let me give you guys a quick load on how this playthrough is going to go. First of all, this first week, yeah, you're getting a lot of content. I'm talking like seven episodes today, three on Saturday and Sunday, and then double uploads all the way until Thursday next week. The first week is going to be day one hype, and I'm excited for it. I want to do this more often whenever we get a new game. I just want to start uploading a whole week of content regarding that game. It sounds fun to me. Y'all should be hyped. Whenever a new game is coming out, a whole week of that game is going to be going live on the channel. So, yo, because I know how long this game is, we are going to be uploading for the first time ever. I don't normally do this, but we are going to be uploading hour-long episodes, which means if we do a double feature of Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, it just might be two hours. Blah! So, yo, if you guys want to see double features, come through with your boy. Demolish the like button for me. Can we get this video to 1,000? I don't think we can. Because I know we have a, blah, 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 a predominantly Mario audience here. And I know that for some reason, for the Pokemon fix, people like to go to other content creators. But if you're here, thank you for choosing to watch our play through the PK Planet. You already know when you're here, you're going to have yourself a rip snort and these slapping good time. So, hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell to catch the next episode. Without further ado, let's... Wait, why would I want to get started? I'm laying on pencil sheets. Like, do you have any idea how cuddly these things are? They aren't. They feel like rocks. Let's get up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so where we go? Oh, my, my stuff. Hold up. It's the new coat, coat rack. Is coat rack one word? Your mom bought for you. Can I just grab my stuff? I, it's right there. I like the coloring, though. I don't know if you guys could tell, but uh, I'm a fan of black, white, and red. So, mwah, perfect to me. So, I decided to cut out all the other bull crap because it's all the same thing. I don't even know how much is going to be different, but the intro is always the same. You guys see our name is Siobhan, and don't ask where I got the name from. It's one of the many ghetto hood names I've come up with in my time. <laughs> I'm not naming my son that, but I'll definitely name my character that. Then I guess Shawm a G. High key, Shawm is a G. You know what? Shawm the motherfucking gangster. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. Woman, don't tell me what I ought to be. I ought to be going back to sleep. If you would have actually got me some good sheets, some scyther sheets, I would have been able to sleep like a lamb. But no, you gave me some pencil sheets, and now I'm sitting there sleeping like a riparian. What is wrong with you? Tell me what I need to be. And just look, it's already night here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto, but we were all, but then we are so far away here in Alola. Now, I wonder if it's going to be sun and... Sun and uh, Ultra Sun. Cause I'm playing Ultra Moon. So I wonder if it's gonna be sunny. Either. I don't know. So Sharon, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Um, sure. I wasn't really excited before. Although I'm excited to see what's new. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands are wait. Uh, everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly the Pokemon here are. Right, Sharon? Go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and a hat and things should be hanging on your coat stand in your room. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk, too? Um, I didn't do anything. I just kind of went in there 
Uh, I told my my passport guy to use me as a black person, and then I woke up in my bed. I ain't do nothing. So you did it all, Mondo. We're trying to make me feel all accomplished because you did things. But are you taking advantage of me and my sleepwalking? Taking advantage of me? Say, you know, he's sleepwalking. I'm going to make him feel like he did it. I'm just going to tell him he did. Like, oh, I told him he was flying the other day. Oh, I guess I can fly now. Now I'm dead. Thanks, Mom, for lying to me. Tell me the truth. All right? I need people in my life who don't lie to me. Hit that like button if you have people in your life who lie to you. See, I said it like that because everybody has people in their life. Anyway. <laughs> now you look ready for anything. Oh, but even so, Sharon, try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up towards Iki Town and see what you can discover in Alola? Wow. I don't think she said that last time. That, that does not seem familiar when she seemed... Anxious to have new Pokemon around. Besides, you forget that if I get a new Pokemon, I'm not gonna be staying around the house. I'm gonna be a man, mom. I'm, I'm rolling out. Like, you are sending me out here to be a man. See, don't you wish the world was like this? Wait, is this Iggy Town? Which way do I wanna go? Oh, well, I guess that guess. Why can't I just hop that fence? Like, hi, Key. You see how long my legs are? I can't have this in real life. I can just hop this. Shit, I'm pretty sure I'm Jamaican. Let me just get my Usain Boat on. Uh, I don't think Usain Boat was Jamaican. I'm actually not sure where he's from. Or maybe he is Jamaican, he's just Jamaican. He's Jamaican that he's Jamaican, but really he's Jamaican. Hey, you wanna battle? The power of science is amazing. You can enjoy a festival with people from all around the world without taking a step. Every day is a festival when you can do that. All right, look at the shooting stars. Pretty sure that's new. Oh, something's coming at you in the tall grass. Yeah, I hope it's a Whirlpool. Yeah, this is new. I think this is new. This doesn't seem for me. Then again, I only did one. No, I did two playthroughs um, of Ultra Sun and, uh, Sun and Moon. Hey, can you like calm down? Chill your hiss. Oh, shoot! Starter Squad! Yo, they came to my defense. Now, this is new. So we don't have to go through like 10,000 things to get our starter Pokemon. I like that. I like that. Thank you for that. Last time it was busted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait, did it scare them off? Shout outs to you. So what, so what, am I, are you just gonna tell me where to go? I'm not gonna be able to choose you yet? Is this just the introduction to the starter Pokemon? Why are you just roaming out by your snapper line? Hey there, cousin. Hang on, I know you. You're Sharon, right? You okay? I saw you attack like that. I saw you get attacked like that. Um, I was scared spitless. You might as well just say shitless. Yeah, I got a bit of help. Looks like you did. Though I sure didn't expect that, yeah. I didn't think these little fellows could dash out on their own to help or save a stranger. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui, yeah. The Pokemon Professor. Pokemon and people live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon can be lurking in the tall grass, yeah, but just waiting to leap out and bite you. But you'll be fine if you got a partner of your own. Hey there. Here, let me introduce you to the Pokemon that helped you just now. So now we're going to pick one. That's still a long intro, to be honest. This is a grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. Oh, shout-outs to Helms, man. Mwah. You did the darn thing. You're still my man in Pokemon DX. Shout out to you, or secondary, Coleman, Chandelure. Anyway, and a fire type Pokemon, Litten. I actually have no experience with you. And the water type Pokemon, Poplio. I have to admit, I still think Poplio is still a derpy looking Pokemon, but Primarina came in clutch. I, I can't deny that. It's, I, I think it's kind of like my relationship with Mudkip and Swampert. Like, I don't like Mudkip, but I think Swampert's amazing. I don't really like Primarina, but Primarina still came in clutch. I can't deny that. So, Poplio, for what you'll become, you have earned my respect. <clears throat> you see, the matter of the fact is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Woo! Heh, <laughs> maybe that's what they wanted to, maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Why don't you go ahead and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner? You just told me this. So, 
Um, we've already did our original Moon playthrough with Rowlet. And then in the summertime, we did our Pokemon Sun Wonder Lock, where we, well, actually, we got all three. We got all three, but Poplio saved the day. But not only did Poplio and Primarina come through towards the end, unfortunately, in the final battle, we did lose a member. We had all three starters represented on our team, but then Incineroar got knocked out. So, seeing as how this is not a Nuzlocke, I think it's time to get in a full experience with the Litten line. What do y'all say? Let's bring in our buddy Litten. Mwah. Litten may use fire type moves, but it's one cool cat. So you want to go with the fire type Pokemon Litten? Yes. It's the first time going with the Litten. Bang. I hope Jay doesn't go for it. Jay finally got his shiny Violet. I'm so happy for him. Uh, I hope he doesn't do that again with Ultra Sun and Moon because this line is still long. So we're looking into it to see if we can be friends. Oh, you're a kitty. You're a kitty. You know what? I already know what your nickname is going to be. I already know what your nickname is going to be. You guys know what the nickname is going to be. You guys know what the nickname is going to be. Y'all know. Let me just get out my handy dandy. It's shiny. No, it's not shiny. I just wanted to wake up anybody who was actually just listening and not watching the video. Oh. <laughs> um, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to name... Our buddy, I wish it was a male, uh, female, but it's not. My cat's female, but it doesn't, that gender doesn't matter. We flew it out here. Misty, the Litten, is now on our team. Let's go. We're going to try this out. So you went with Litten. <clears throat> so you went with Litten. Woo, that's a fine looking team you two are. Now that you have Pokemon, now you can have Pokemon, but now that you can have Pokemon battles, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for Litten, too. It should feel nice and cozy in there. Can we have Pokemon walk around with us? All right, then. All right, all right then let's get going up to Iki Town. Sharon, woo! Time to meet the Alakahuna. But why? <laughs> but why? I don't wanna. I just wanna play Pokemon. I wanna go capture and not train, and I wanna be Pokemon Master. Go to Kahuna. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Truth is, that partner Litten of yours is the gift from the Kahuna, not me. Huh? So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you haven't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. Um, I mean, they're weak to me. I thought I had the burp. <laughs> Icky Town is right up there. Actually, I did have the burp. I was, I was gassy. I just had to force it up. Look at all the, the nighttime sky. I, I seriously wonder if Ultra Sun is going to be in daytime. Get lit in there in that Pokeball I gave you. Wow. I wonder if my time is set properly on my 3DS. Probably not. I, I haven't Then again, I know it's not because I had never changed it for DST. Oh, this music. Oh my god, the transition. The bottle screen. Oh my god, the extra. Oh, jeez. Well, this is all new. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and a little matter. I don't care anything about you, so catch this fire. Also, this bottom screen is a lot more clean than the last one. I mean, the last one was nice, but this one just looks sharp, dude. Like, th there's clean and then there's sharp. This looks sharp. Ah, look at this, just the detail of it, the coloring, the texture. I hope there's someone we can change the background like you could before. I think it was um in fifth gen when you could change that. Like the um the background the background on the bottom screen. I hope there's an option like that. But that's just nice. I am I'm down. Yo, let's see what nature misty is. Hopefully it's um either modest or adamant. Watch we get like a quiet nature or something like that. Um uh, if it's neutral, I won't be mad. Come on, Misty, be a good nature. Be a good nature, buddy, be a good nature. It's neutral. Okay, I'll take neutral. Often lost in thought. I think that's high special attack. I think that's high special attack. All right, I'm I'm down. I'm I'm not mad. I am not mad. We have uh, a neutral nature. Litten, shout out to Misty. I love Pokemon battle. I'm just walking between. I'm just walking between. Let me just walk around you. Let me just let me just walk and walk and move the f out my way. All right. Well, screw that. Oh look, that's the new island area we gotta wait for to be blocked off. Let's go in here. I wonder what Pokemon we can find. Like, did they change up the routes? This whole transition is just nice. I am absolutely down. And just a rat attack. 
So one thing I don't like keeping in is all the useless battles. So unless we run into something that's actually unique and clean, I'm most likely just going to cut it out. It, 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 blah, blah, blah. it adds to the time of the video. And I mean, I just don't want to stress anybody. I think you can find Peaches over there. Hey, it's How. What up, How? Hey, hey. Which Pokemon you going to choose your partner? Have you decided? Uh, this isn't even the voice I gave him last time. Oh, hey, I'm How. I couldn't wait to, wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Hi, Litton. Hey, that's, what, that's Misty right there. Whoa, you Litton is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry, man. Sorry about that, How. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Sharon choose his partner first without you. Fair enough. I guess it's just free for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of the oh, but you can choose one of these two, Hal. You're gonna choose Rowlet because I am the rival. <laughs> and I'm doing everything before you. <laughs> yep. Then my partner will be Rowlet. I choose you! Whoo! Olaf, uh, Lola, friend. I decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. We're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. I don't think I've ever faced uh, um, how having a Rowlet or a Zidwire. It's gonna be interesting. Professor, you'll take good care of Pompey, all right? You better believe I will, Hal. Just hit me with the A button. Thank you. All right then, Pompeo. Everybody, let um, time to get back in your balls for now. Nope. Wait up. Me and Rowlet have a fa oh, wait up. Me and Rowlet have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together? Mm, no! Then I'm gonna wait for you, so you better come back and battle me. What? What? Wow! Hold on! Uh, hold on! Before you two step into the ring, let's make sh sure Litten is up to it. Thank you. I'm not worry about the Violet, but then I guess he didn't battle anything, and I did. I didn't even do anything, I just did Ember on a two of the little It's not stressful at all. Let's see his new intro. If he has a new intro, probably not. Nope, he's still stretching. I never understood why people stretch like this. This thing hurts more than anything. Maybe I'm doing. Maybe I do it wrong. Maybe you shouldn't be stretching like from the shoulder, just like the muscles right here. I don't know. Let, let me know, guys. Is it? Does this stretch actually work? Actually, I can feel it in my chest a little bit. All right. So you know he's gonna get embered, right? Like I'm just gonna spit fire. <laughs> that was definitely a water guy. I saw him spit fire and I just spit everywhere. I'm sorry, DS screen. <sighs> Yo, you see how like on edge Ember or Litten gets when he spits fire? And you see how flat Violet was? He used to be like a little round ball of joy. But now he's all flat and compressed. Maybe it's because he died or got knocked out? I don't know. Yo, I got no defense. Alright, do not take hits with Misty. Yo! Plus two, let's go. Yo, let me learn a new attack though. Where's my scratch attack? Aw. Uh -huh. Our first defeat. Sorry, Rowlet. Oh, first defeat. Sorry, Rowlet. I, I gotta use these voices, man. That's the thing. I haven't done an RPG in a while, so I haven't ma really made up much voices. But I want to get better with vocal, um, with vocalizing. So let me know what y'all think about the voices in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna say I'm trash. I I don't blame you. I right, yeah. anyway. <clears throat> Whoa! That was ins that was awesome, Sharon. You and Litten are both so cool. All right. You gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Uh, sure. Right on, Jerome. You and Hal both brought out the best of your partners and pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah! Icky Town is right up those stairs. Come on, Jerome. Told y'all this intro was long. I don't even know how long I've been recording, to be honest. I just forgot that I can't tell the time on here. Oh, wait, I know how to tell the time. I know how to tell the time. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, just hit the Y button. That's convenient. Only 20 minutes? Yo, we got time. We got time. Let's rock out. Is this something new or should I just skip it? I was really hoping for something unique here, but we're just getting common encounters. Really? You better be good. You better be a man. Be a peachy. A Baneri? Hmm. Have I? <clears throat> I have never used the Boneri on my team before. You know what? I'll try to cap. Oh, yeah, scratch attack. I'll try to capture you. I mean, why not? 
Oh, shit. I can't do anything else. Oh, no. Defense curl. Thank you for that. That was actually right on time. Now I can scratch you again without worry. You're not going to get... Unless I get a crit. Misty, don't get a crit. Oh, God. Misty got a crit. No, okay. <laughs> you're so like, oh, God. Misty, no. Misty, no. All right. He'll hit the bag. Um, Where's my balls at? I don't have one. God damn it. All right. Well, sorry, Veneri. Bye. <laughs> I thought he said here is some Pokeball. No, here is your Pokeball for me. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to have to hold that out. But hey, a Baneri encounter. That was That's definitely new. No slow pokes? I don't know there's a lot of slow pokes around here. That's, all right, cool. I was going to say let's get one more encounter. Is there going to be anything interesting? Don't be anything trash. God. And we're here. This right here, Icky Town. This is music. Can we get some daytime music? I feel like I'm going. I don't snore. Well, correction. I snore, but I have to be dead tired. Um, this town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mela Mela Island. Tapu Koko, my inner warrior spirit, keeps us all safe and happy. See, see, see. Looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah, yeah the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. I'm going to go stop by home for a second. I got to show my mom Violet. How come there are no dads? Like, why is that a thing? Why is that dads just seem to not exist in Pokemon? I mean, mind you, you have third gen where your dad was actually the fifth gym leader. But other than that, why do dads just not exist? Why? Well, seriously, why is that? Does anybody have any theories? Let me know in the comments. Um, hey, I've got an idea for you, Sharon. <clears throat> Wrong voice. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our island's guardian deity, yeah. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back. Um, he, they didn't say anything like this last time. I was just wandering and then all of a sudden, oh, look, Lily and Cosmo. Let's see what happens, though. It's slight textual differences so far, though. That texture, text, textual, text, I don't know if that's a word. I use that properly. I'm talking about text, like the dialogue is different. Um, we're still walking up the same hill, so they didn't change his path at all. And will Lily be, oh, shoot, I think she is. Can we lost control? Oh, shoot, I see you, big dog. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. So please stay in the back. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. Anyway, um, so she is still going up there. And I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Are we going to be attacked by Spiro? It's going to be something, I hope it's something different. I don't want to, uh, well, that's new. I don't remember her being animated before. Like, what a... Why? Why are you just going there? You're, you're so annoying. Different birds. Nope, still Spearow. All right. They should have made a lowland Spearow for this one, to be honest. Then again, what, how, what would you do for a lowland Spearow? Can't really imagine anything. Ah, well. So we still just gotta go out there and risk our lives for the Cosmog. Oh, we gotta talk to Lily? All right. She's such an annoying character. Hopefully she's better in this game, but, eh. I know there are fans of Lily. I think people are more fans of Cosmog than Lily, though. Like, you know, get in the bag, and that'd be bullcrap. Uh, um, what's wrong? Help. Save Nebby. Save Nebby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nebby's being attacked. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you're an annoying little brat. Those spirits are attacking it. But I'm not a trainer. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, please, please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, so, I mean, alright, everyone's so generous to healing my Pokemon, god dang, hello, that's just, nice. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, shoot, wait, that's new! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright, just a spear to the face. Hey, son, hope you enjoyed yourself, your time out there today. What'd you do? Oh, you know, I took a spear to the face. I used to be a Pokemon trainer, but then I took a spear to the face. Now I'm just sitting here with a black eye. Pursuit. I can't run. 
Unless, will pursuit run work if you try to run from the battle? Like, is that a thing? I actually have never encountered that. I would love to know. Nah, I wish I actually did run right there. I could probably find it out on Bobopedia. I'm probably not going to remember as well. You managed to ch uh, you managed to chase off one of the Spiro, but oh, but there are still more. Please, please help Nebby if you can, but be careful. It looks like that attack may have damaged the plank bridge. <sighs> we'll just go out there. So it should only be two. Come on. There we go. That was unnecessary cuts. <clears throat> I like how they're just losing feathers right now. Smack it! Like, it's not even- Smack it! Oh god, Nebby, no! Oh god, Nebby! I need you to calm down with the Ultra Instinct. Like, j just calm the, the air bending. Hey, it's me! Bob, I want you to your spirit. Yeah! Saving the motherfucking day! Let's go! Why my phone going off? Oh, okay. Hey, look at my boy, me. Yeah, and this is when I realized who my inner warrior spirit actually is. Look at him. Oh, he's so cool. Definitely the coolest Tapu. It's funny because I never use a Tapu in battle. I have never used one. Maybe I should probably do some. I don't know. The only time I used use a Tapu in battle was on Showdown Randoms. I don't actually make teams anymore. Anyway, pew. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? You saw it. Oh, Nebby. You know what happened the last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. Pew! I like how she can, uh, Cosmo just goes right back to her side. What? What was that? Wait, how did we get that last time? Pew pew! A sparkling stone? It almost warm. It feels almost warm somehow. Oh God, Lily's theme! Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? I, I'm Lily, and I'm supposed. And I suppose this stone must belong to you. I mean, I'll take it, sure. I got a sparkling rock. What have you done with your life today, guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> you opened up the keep. Oh, wrong voice. You opened the keep, I can put the sparkling source. Alright, please. Don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Pew! Into the bag, Nebby. I think that might be my, oh, my new favorite voice. I'm trying to come up with something new, guys. <clears throat> Hopefully, I can even remember all these voices. I probably won't. Uh, um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you can see us back to town? I don't know why I said that so fast. Um... Sure. I mean, you can follow along. I'll just ember everything to death. I'll just keep walking with and letting just constantly spitting out embers. I like how you want me to walk you back, but you're taking the lead. That does not seem smart now, does it? Like, I'm, I'm a bodyguard. I should be... Then again, no, that's not how that works I'm with bodyguard them. Oh, Shiro. You already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. So you just let your assistant get all bodied up there in the woods for no reason? She's probably watching. Lily, I thought you were... Uh, I, wait. Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to. So he left town on his own. I was just um, taking a little stroll up my hollow trail when I waited for him to return. While I waited for him to return. And that's... Uh, and that's how you met our new neighbor, Sharom, huh? He just got to a low lull yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? Mm, me and him actually go way back. He was actually there because... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's nice to meet you. 
I like how I just look right past her. The Kahuna's back. Kahuna Hollow's return. Our Guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola. Alola, yeah. It's kind of funny that humans just need something or someone to worship and praise. Isn't it just strange how that works? Why? It's like, it's like how people like bend down for Kim Kardashian. Why? It's like how people are diehard fans, and I mean, like, they'll do anything for Beyonce. Why? I mean, it's definitely cool to respect their work. I just never understood why humans, they just need to worship and praise something and have their life live by the life of somebody else. I, it's one of those things. I, I, I don't know. I, I try to live my life for me and inspire, but even then, like, I, I hope none of you guys, um... Just put everything in your life on hold for anything I'm doing. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's weird to say. Idols are weird. Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? <laughs> I just got caught up in the middle of some brawl in Rock Love, that's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Chopper Coco flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some Spiro on the plank bridge. And Sharone here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island, island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Whoa, that's something you don't hear every day. Ho, oh, although it is said to protect us, our type of Coco is a rather fickle creature. Yet, our guardian was moved to save you. Kakui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. And first, a lowland Pokemon champion. Just, just, just know that. I mean, Sharon G, man, he come out here, he's getting t taken a Lola by storm. You guys gotta understand, the man Sharon plays no games. He is not about no bull crap. He's kind, but at the same time, he'll rough you up when necessary. And I ain't talking about with a rock. Boom. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mela Mela Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kakui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Phew. Pew, pew. I'm hungry. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nutty, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. Again, motherfucking G, the only black guy in Alola. Hala doesn't count, he has a deep tear. I'm <laughs> so stupid. I I read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take them take care of them, you know. I'm not using the bottom screen thing again. Alright, here's a lovely gift for me to help make today special, Sharon. It better be some Pokeballs. I hate this thing. A Pokedex is a real blah 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 blah. blah. Pokeballs? Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now, Sharon? I want some Pokeballs! I'm gonna talk to you. Well, I can't talk to you, okay. If you two could work together in harmony with each other, you could go anywhere together. Alright. Um, oh yeah, sure. Wait, how was the first I gave for, for how? Oh yeah, Sharon! Hold up a sec! You do not want to battle again. What is it, Hal? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll and sing without a word, huh? Wow. Where's the respect for your elders? Smack Hal right now, Hal. Uh, Hal, uh, just, just kick him right in the chin. Oh, shoot. I don't know how you see something sparkling from my black bag, but okay. Hmm? Jerome, would you be so kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Again, how do you even see it? My, my bag is black. 
Yo, look how pissed How is. He's like, that's my rock. Jerome stole it. I'll never trust him again. <laughs> Could it be? Uh, Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Jerome? Um, yes, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Jerome, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not. I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Look at that smile. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you, too. You must do us the honor of joining us in our festival tomorrow. Do I have to? I, I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert. I don't like social gatherings and parties. It, I'm just gonna stand in the corner. First, I'll make sure to get. Uh, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, Sharon. Lily, you two should come with us too. Yeah. Why? Uh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. They speak so weird here. You and that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes. I will keep an eye on... Good job. Pew! I don't understand how he gets out the bag. Psychic power just moves the zipper back. There you go. Anyway. Um, oh, you. Would, you. would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Uh, Nebby. <laughs> it's still nighttime. Why are we doing all this at night? What, what time is it? It's like 2 a.m. I had to be home and sleep. I'm a 12-year-old boy. I'm gonna be trusted out here. Nah, I'm a man now. Sharon don't care. <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome back, Sharon. So what did you think of Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look who you got with you. This is Litton. I named him Misty. Oh, shoot. It's about to be a cat fight! You came running out. It came running out to help you? What a sweet little thing. Right there on Route 1. Alright, I don't understand why I had a choice for that one. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Let's go. You don't want none. You don't want none. Yo, you guys are power gym. You throwing coins. I'm spitting fire. Tell me which one has... Well, actually, no. I guess spitting money. There's money you can buy like a flamethrower. And then all of a sudden, like, who's winning now? Uh, we have a Pokemon attack versus actual fire. But then again, I guess Pokemon attacks are actual fire. I'm thinking about this too much. Anyway. Breathe it in, man. Oh, this is a good time to stretch. Ugh, yeah, there we go. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Shimon. I wish I had a backyard. I have never had a backyard in my life. I, well, correction, I had like a patio where you know, kept the trash or whatnot, but never really had like a backyard. Like a little bit there, you see grass, like a place set. I would love something like that. Anyway, hey there, Sharon. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah. But first, I gotta teach you something. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basic, uh... Oh, we're gonna learn to catch Pokemon now. All right, we're just gonna skip all this. Isn't it just a lot nicer when I just cut all that out? Because we all know how to catch Pokemon right now. And it better be something good. Don't make me waste my time. It's going to be a little bit of attack. A Grubbin? Do we want to use a Vikivo? You know what? If you can live an Ember, I'm going to capture you. If you can live an Ember, you're going to be on my team. Ah, well, you're trash. All right, but well, you're not the one I need. You're not the one that I want. You're not the one I want. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, Misty got good to level eight, though. And I learned Lick. Misty has licked me a few times, and I can't stand it. Because cats' tongues are, like, prickled so they can clean themselves. It's, it's just, ugh. Although, Misty has never had a hairball. Never. I, like, I've had her for over two years, and I've never seen her chuck up a hairball. Another Grubbin. Can you live in Ember? We're, go we're gonna find out right now. Can you live in Ember? Is your you're definitely not living in Ember. You're, you're weaker than the last one. Uh, can you live a Lick? Oh my god, that animation! Was it like that in Gen 1? <laughs> well, the first version? Holy crap, that's new. That's sweet. 
I like that. that that's interesting. <laughs> it's funny how Lit can paralyze. I don't blame him because, again, cat's tongues are gross. What is the grossest tongue you have ever been licked by? I, I can't, I, I would rather be licked by a cat than a dog, because dogs are just slimy and drooly and gross, and I'm not about that life. Oh, you don't want to battle, do you? You trying to battle? I mean, I only got one Pokemon, but our body are the same. Lass, more like ass. Oh, freaking body! When the eyes of the Pokemon trainers meet, you know what's going to happen, right? Um, well, personally, personally, I was going to the left. You saw my behind, you said... These new scenes are just the backgrounds. You're so nice. But you said, dang, I need a piece of that trainer. You weren't talking in the battle. Hey, look, she has a Buneary. I saw the Buneary earlier, but I couldn't catch it. Because I didn't have any Pokeballs. Sad face is me. I just want to see what new Pokemon are in these things. I wonder if um, Buneary was a rare encounter and I just failed on it. Do oh, I didn't KO it. No, I'm going to get paralyzed. I don't even think, how do you even pound with a Buneary? I really like Buneary. Buneary's stats are pretty weak. Um, what is it? Like, even Mega Lopunny, like, the only thing that's good about it is, is attacks and defense. I mean, attack and speed, they're like godlike, and it has Scrappy, so it hits hard F. But, um, it can't do anything else. Ooh, do you want to battle? I'm going to go to grass. I'm going to go to grass. Do something good. Be something good. Be something good. Anything, anything amazing. Any, anything unique. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to do like a few encounters off screen. I want to see if we can find anything interesting in this grass. Oh, shoot! Bro! Bro! I th Dude! Dude! Oh my god, I'm catching you! Oh my god, I'm catching you! Oh my. Yes! Oh! Oh! Which, which one's weaker? Which one's weaker? I think Lick is weaker. Oh crap, I went to go. Oh no, I think my. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, I wanted to go look at which one was a weaker move. But I, I guess the L button didn't register or something like that, but we didn't KO it. Let's check this Pokeball now. We have 11 of them. Let's go. Oh my god. Bro! Wasn't Pichu like 1%? Maybe they raised it? I don't know. Yeah! Duh! I am down. I am 100% down. Complete game. Let's go. We got a Pichu. What should we name this thing? Yo! I want y'all to know that was my first encounter after I said I wanted to go do something. This was my first encounter. That I was not paying attention. I was not ready. It has electric sacks in his cheeks, been the fully charged. Pichu plays very energetically. Holy crap. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, what should we name it? It's gonna be an Alolan Raichu. Um, you know what? Just because it's a surfer dude, the first surfer dude name that comes to me is Brody. But then again, it's a female Peach Oscar. It's Brody. Um, we could name Broda. Let's do Broda, like butter. Yeah, let's do butter. Hold up. Hold up. Butter. Yeah. Brother the Pichu! You're gonna be terrible to use it early on. But yo, I am high. I don't even want to look at anything else anymore. I was gonna do like that was my first encounter. I wanted to do at least five. And we got a Pichu. Yo. Hold up. Alright, you know what? High speed? I'll take it. That's not bad. I mean defense, but then what Pichu is gonna be taking to I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. Yo, let's uh Let's do a few more laps around this place to see if there's anything else we may want to use. But, shoot. I got, I got a Pichu. No way. No way did I just find another Pichu. No way. I want you, No way. You know what? I am down. I don't know what the chance is. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to Lick this time. I think Lick might be weaker. I think Lick is like base 20. Static! Wow! Alright, it's fine. Oh god, Thunder Shock! Oh, Misty! Misty, you're gonna miss me! I'm sorry. Just chuck this Pokeball, catch this one again, cause why not? Maybe we can one to trade it off or something. <laughs> Two! Three! I wanna use this one. If this one's a better nature, then I'll use this one. But the other one was hasty. That's pretty tough to beat. The only way you can beat that is if you're like, Actual jolly or I probably want timid. 
because you know I'm special with electric attacks by level up. So I, I want, if you're timid, then I am down. We're gonna name you a female as well. Wow. But well, we're gonna name you Butter as well, just in case. This this was actually gonna be my last one, and there we go, finding another Pichu. Th this is crazy. We have to use one. I don't know if it's gonna be on a party the entire time, but at least for right now, we gotta rock out with the Pichu and get us to the right you. I mean, I haven't used one yet, so I'll be down. Um, level four, so it's already stronger. Nature is neutral. Mmm, that's a tough sell. That's a tough sell, dude. Looks like this one has higher HP as well for the IVs. Just by, because look at it, it's already 15. That one has plus, um, plus speed, and yet I think this one might have a faster speed stat. Ooh, you know what? We're going to go with Butter. Uh, well, level 3 Butter. So, level 4 Butter, you're going to have to uh, chill. But thank you. Now, I should probably go find somewhere to heal. I'm not sure where. I want to do some more battles. Um, but I'm not sure I said too much. Let's, let's just keep moving forward. Hopefully, no one attacks us or wants to battle with us. Rocks! I wonder what's past there. Whoa, I can't battle right now. My team is weak. I, I could have used some potions, but eh. So, the only thing that's really in this area... The Ultra Recon Squad. The only thing that's really in this area... Are um, Picky Peck, Young Goose, and Grubbin. Although we did find, obviously, Pichu. I think Pichu might be the rare encounter here. This is music. Measuring the aura readings here. The numbers appear to be a bit high. What do you think, Captain? Hmm? What was that? Did you say something? I was. Well, I was certainly not distracted by this foolish display of festivity. Why? Why are you mad? So there are aura readings in this place. Perhaps it may be the effects of that one they call the Isla Kahuna. But everything is so bright here in Alola. Far brighter than we have been told it would be. I find it loathsome, this awful brightness. Even though this is a light we have sought for for so long? Yes, I suppose you are right. We must carry out our investigations to, to return the light to, the light to our own world as well. Before the blinding one can awaken. Oh shoot, we have lore already. Let's go. We're not even an hour into the game. That's how long have we been playing? You, you're not native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. How, how can you just tell that? You don't know me. My name is motherfucking Sharon. I will actually smack you up. I think it's a game. Anyway. Yo, why are my back hands so pow- OH MY GOD! How can you have an alone in this naked joint just walking through the town like nothing is the matter? It's gonna kill itself with some electric lines! Alright. I mean, do you, boo-boo? I guess being a dragon type and grass type makes you resistant? To- Yeah. The Alolan region is made up of our, of our four islands. And each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon Guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Alright, cool. I mean, can I heal? What can I heal? I need to heal. I'm Pokemon are weak. Can I break that rock? I feel like I can break that rock. I'm gonna break that rock. Someone heal me! Someone help me out! I'm not gonna spend much time doing um things like exploring towns on video but i'm never going to do it off screen oh shoot let's go how this is where we had our battle our first battle before i think Ho! Oh, how is this your own man i thought you'd never make it me and Rollo have been waiting for ages <laughs> Who? hold on didn't anyone explain to you about tonight hell no they just said festival oh yeah right on time but to what exactly Pew. Why not just leave him at home? Oh, no, he needs to be protected. Okay, never mind. Um, a full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Topo Coco, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So, you two will be taking part in the battle? Oh, wrong for it. So, you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another. Since they all so often get end up getting hurt. But I'll be sure to watch you both. She's looking for a suitor. She like, which one of y'all is more fitted to uh escort me throughout Alola? 
I want you to know, I won't give a damn about you. I want Pauline. The Switch is still back in my house. I can just go play Odyssey at any time. <laughs> to anybody maybe wondering, Odyssey will return next Friday. Um, your Pokemon that fought for you. So show them that same care returns your room. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Thank you. That's all I needed. Everyone's so kind. I haven't been to a single Pokemon Center. Um, sure. I have two Pichus and a Litten. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I actually would love to have Pichu first, because I didn't want to have him first, because I wasn't sure if I could heal up first, but I should have said no. That wasn't smart. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection, for them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands How, grandson to the Kahuna. <gasps> Uh huh? Let's have fun. Uh, let's have fun with this, Rowlet. Before you stand, Sharome, one who has met with Tapu Koko. I just stand there like, let's go. What? Why is she red? Why are you so heated, lady? Calm down. I can't tell you between. I can't tell between you and the shirt the guy's wearing in the background. God dang. I'm not even sure you're wearing a skirt. I think it just might be your booty. Get that booty out. Got them bloomers just blooming everywhere. Anyway, what a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, that's just typical of it. Really? That feels like something like nothing can ever do anything any wrong. You just go to praise it off and, oh, it's just being crisp. No, what's the word? Not crispicious, but it's precocious. Just being precocious. Linton, take care of my little Sharon. As long as we both have a good time, I think we can call it a great battle, eh? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'll let you believe that. Sharon, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. But why are we supposed to have a battle on this tiny behind platform? We have the entire world at our disposal. You want to have us sit here? You're a channel Pokemon trainer? How? Pichu. I want a Pichu. Well, I have a Pichu. I want to use my Pichu. Yo, where are we get when are we getting back to not air Pichu? I want to notch here to write you. Let's be real here. Oh, you're just already level six? Yo! You've been cheating. Catch this fire. I hope we get a burn. God dang it. I'm going to get paralyzed now just for wishing ill on my opponent. No. All right. It's nice to see my luck isn't that bad. All right. Sorry. I, I, I had to rock out. I had to rock out a little bit. Uh, Mr. Goody Level 9. Shout out to Misty. That's the homegirl. Or homie, I guess. Rowlet. Um, we're gonna swap real quick to Brother, our level three one. So that way we can give him a little bit of experience. We're gonna swap back out to Rowlet. I can't wait to do a Sinnoh versus the Sidui. That's gonna be so funny. Cause I, I I just beat that thing three times over. Uh we're gonna swap out back out to Misty. I would stay in, but you're level seven and brother's only level. I'm gonna get bodied by a single leafage. I'm not about getting bodied by leafage. What the heck is leafage anyway? You use growl? No! However, will I lick you to death now? Well, I guess I gotta spit fire. Drat. Darn, guys. I was really looking forward to just licking my buddy Rowlet. Growl again? Okay, do you know how to battle how? Like, do you know how to battle? I I'm using a special attack. So your growls mean nothing. You're dead. You're a terrible trainer. Look at him. He, like, impresses himself when he gets knocked out. I don't, I don't know if that's new or if I just didn't notice that before, but that's sad. God dang, brother, calm down. Yo, brother, let him tell you, let's go. Charm and tell with Thundershot? What? It's already over? Because <laughs> I don't play any games. I'm motherfucking Sharome! I don't want to go home! Let's go! Hey! I ain't no gnome. <laughs> Hoo wee! Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Coco liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Sharon. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. Can we just see the executor? I see the body. I want to see the head. It was a good battle with this, even Top of Coco. Ho! Ho! You heard it yourself. Top of Coco, song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it is time you take this, Sharon. Hey, my stone. That's right. Oh, my, my bracelet. Oh, it's black! Hell yeah! How'd you go? How'd you know I like black ones? Yes, yeah, it's sad. Z ring. 
it. Your Z Power Ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z Power. We Kahunas can make Z Power Rings using stones like the Sparkling Stone that you received from Capacoco. Though you will need to undergo the Island Challenge and collect Z Crystals for yourself if you wish to draw forth Pokemon Z Power. And yet you have already received that Sparkling Stone. It seems Tapacoco took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. The island challenge? Four islands! He was just waiting to do that. You travel to each island, blah, 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 blah. You already know what it is. Battle Island Challenge and Kakuna. All right. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. Wrong voice. I'll let, but I'll let Kahuna Howler explain the details. Can you, can you not? I'm just gonna skip right over this. Ah, there we go. Got our amulets. What, what did I get the tutu? Is it like in the lowland wave, say uncle or grandpa or something like that? Here's one for you. I, yeah, get my little bango on my on my. Is it new? Nope, it's the same looking one. Give me a little bango on my backpack. Give me my bango on my backpack. Hey, hey, give me my bango on my backpack. Yeah, doing the island challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola. I just want to know what's up with the Cosma. Let's look at the sunset. I like how the time is like manual right now. Like it's not going by the time in here. They have a certain time of day. And then after we're done with all the intro stuff, then it's most likely going to go with the time on the bag. Oh yeah? I don't even know what you said. You know, Sh oh, you know Sharon, it did save your life too. And it even gifted you that sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time to get you kids home, yeah? Maybe. Alola is full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it? But where did you come from? I don't think it's ever been said of where Lily came from. Oh, shoot! Captain, I was able to detect high levels of aura at this full-powered festival. I suppose, I suppose you would. According to our earlier research, it seems that the Z-Power Ring and this type of Coco creature are bathed in a great deal of light. Alola overflows with the light that was released by the Blinding One. I find myself rather envious. I wonder if we can find some way to use the great power that fills Alola for ourselves. That is precisely what we, the Ultra Recon Squad, are here to make clear. Onward! There is still so much of Alola we have not seen, and we must investigate it all. Well, that's ominous. Hey, Mom, I have my bangle. I'm going to leave you now. Even though we just got here, I'm not going to explore Alola with you. I'm going to go out on my own and become a full Pokemon master of Alola. Yeah. I was captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his partner. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try the Island Challenge thing. Something you're going to leave right? Yeah, but I got that in my bed. I danced my feet over that festival, and then sweetie, have you? All right, bye, Mom! See, I, I, the nonsensical text, I don't really care about. It's just filler stuff. I don't understand why they do that. Like, you had to add all these things. I don't care about the non-necessary character personalities. It's just Mom. Like, unless she's going to hold my cash for me, I don't care. But beautiful weather, what time of what, what day bring me? It's nighttime. God, they just would not stop. He'll probably let himself in without... Okay, you can't let that be a thing. You can't just assume that people are just going to let themselves in. No, he didn't. It's not... It's not Kakui. Ooh, who would be? Is it Lily? Oh, it is Lily. Oh, shoot. Okay, sweet. Oh, um... The professor said... Hey there, Lily. Bring me that new great trainer. Woo. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab, if you come with me. It's, um... It's this way. Shalom! Yo, look at it with the sauce. I see you, big dog. A little pocket money for you. Give me $30,000. Pocket money. Pocket money, he says. Like, am I Trump? A am I just getting a small loan of a million dollars? Small loan. Man, rich people don't know what a dollar is. <laughs> they really don't. They even know what a $100 is. They're all they see is like $1,000 stacks and whatnot. Even $1,000. They probably see a 1000 play. Like, oh, ain't nothing. I wish I was rich. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to end part one there. Next episode, we're going to be heading to the Pokemon Lab. Although I don't know why I was grabbed at night. Unless 
it's just like how it was before and Pokemon Moon is set 12 hours ahead so even though it's 1.40 p.m. from right now it's like 1.40 a.m. in the game maybe that's the thing I hope not because that's gonna be kind of obnoxious I might switch my time so that we will be playing during the day but if you guys enjoyed yourself let me know and demolish the like button for me subscribe if you haven't already and of course make sure you come back here soon because part two is hitting your sub boxes in just a bit but for now it's time for me to dip stay hot guys and I'll see y'all next time